Hey there, it's Mike here. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a video called I tried selling AI art prints on Etsy for 30 days from a channel called Jensen Tongue. This video has over 300,000 views on it and 10,000 likes. So it looks like a lot of people are enjoying this. So let's see what this is all about here. I'm gonna give this a like here as well. If you guys can like my video, it really helps out with my YouTube channel and I appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Let's jump into it. I'm going to try to sell physical AI art prints for 30 days. I'll be covering the entire process from generating to printing to advertising with people. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube lately, like you can like these ones right here where people are talking about selling AI art or putting it on Etsy, uh, Etsy, Etsy uh, and making money that way. So it's I've, I've seen it, but I haven't seen anyone really show much proof about doing it. I'm, I hope that this guy actually shows proof. People reportedly making hundreds of dollars a day. Let's see how much money I can make with my prints. The first step. It looks like he's, he's legitimate, by the way, to, to start off, like he actually has that print. That That's kind of interesting. Seeing the actual print in his hand makes me think that, okay, he's actually doing this. Just to find an AI art generator. I'll be mainly using Midjourney, Night Cafe, and Stable Diffusion, which can generate unlimited images for free. Let's generate a chicken wing oil painting. That looks finger looking good. That's pretty cool. Like there's so many different platforms out there that allow you to create these images now. I, I feel like Mid Journey is the one that's the biggest one, but you need to have a Discord uh, account, which is easy to set up. Uh, and if you want to use them com them commercially, uh, you need to have a paid account. The plan is to sell my AR art on Etsy. It is an online marketplace that focuses on arts and crafts. While buyers on Etsy love art, they don't just buy any art. I'm not sure how many of them would hang chicken wings in the living room nice. other than this guy. What I need to do is research art niches that are searched often on Etsy and sell art in those niches. I scoured Etsy search suggestions and used eRank, which is an Etsy keyword research tool to find popular art niches. So I didn't even know about that tool. So I learned something new every day. Some I found include mid-century modern, abstract art, and flowers. The idea is to generate and sell across various niches in hopes that I find success in at least one of them. On Etsy, most art is sold as digital prints. Essentially, the digital- Ooh, he's got nice uh, editing here. This is pretty cool. Digital file of the artwork. They're mainly for customers who want to save money by printing out the artwork themselves. I don't want those customers. I want customers who are willing to pay to not deal with printing. I've chosen to sell physical prints over digital prints. Uh, so he's going to take that step a little bit further and provide more value. Uh, and hopefully get paid more in the process. Because they typically sell for more and can generate more profit per sale. Now, does selling physical prints mean I have to pull out a printer? Nope, not if I use print on demand. Print on demand is a process where you get a company to print custom art and products for you only when an order is made. There's no need to handle the printing, packaging, or shipping. They do it all for you. The print on demand service I'll be using is Printful. They offer- Okay, this is interesting. I've been seeing other services lately, but this is the first time I've seen Printful. For a variety of wall art products to print on, including canvases, metal prints, framed posters, you name it. I'll be selling my AI art on their enhanced matte paper poster in multiple sizes, from five by seven inches, which is the size of this, to 24 by 36 inches, which is about the size of that. Listing a Printful product on Etsy is simple. All you gotta do is connect your accounts together and add a new product. You choose your sizes, upload your AI art, and oh, right. Most mm -hmm. AI art generators output images at low resolutions, around 500 to 1,000 pixels wide. If I want to print my images big, I'm going to need to upscale them. There are a ton of paid and free AI image upscalers out there. I'll be using Gigapixel AI. This is, again, like one of the reasons why I love doing these videos is I learn all these new tools all the time. Like Even if I don't ever do this method that he's talking about, maybe I'll have a use for this uh, Gigapixel pixel thing that he's talking about here. So it's always nice to learn new things. You can upscale images up to six times its original resolution by using AI to fill in the missing details. That's My cool. AR is ready to be uploaded to Printful. And boom, it's listed as a draft on Etsy. Printful makes things incredibly easy. And I'm excited to say that they're today's video sponsor. You can check them out at the link in the description. Ah, so now we know why he's talking about it. But still, it looks like he's actually using it in, in his video. So that's cool. Below. With my draft listing up, it's time to edit it to prepare it for sale. There are five important elements that need to be done right in order for a product to sell on Etsy. The first is the photos. They should be professional looking mockups designed to attract customers. I searched on Google and found several free mockups to use. With Photoshop, I added my art to them and my listing is now looking nice. fresh. Next, the title. Its main purpose is to help people find the listing through Etsy search and Etsy's algorithm. I'm gonna fill it up with keywords that people search for in my artworks niche. I'll I wonder if like we're gonna start having like people using AI to create art that's better than people are actually creating themselves. Like, are we gonna have, the, instead of, in, in the future, instead of looking at like Van Gogh's art, are we gonna look at like some AI's art creation? Like if it's a good piece of art, then does it matter who made it? I'll be doing the same with tags. 
or what made it, which is the third element and serves a similar purpose to the title. The fourth element is shipping. People love free shipping and Etsy even prioritizes listings that have it. So I'm going to offer it to customers in the US and Canada. Speaking of okay, you offer free shipping, but you make the price higher of which pricing it is the last important element as i'm offering my prints in a range of sizes i've priced each size differently i fiddle around with the e-rank profit calculator taking into account all my costs to give me prices with a profit margin of around 30 to 45 percent the exception is with the smallest size i offer five by seven inches which only gives me a profit margin of about 25 percent i intentionally set it lower because it is the lowest price in your listing that is shown in etsy search and on your profile one last tactic i'm going to do to make my listing more attractive is to put it on sale I'm I'm going to bump up my listings prices by 15%, then put the listing on sale for 15% off. So these are just sales tactics that are great. Like once you learn that people do this, your whole world changes. When, when you go outside and you, you see that, oh, it's on sale, you know it's not really on sale. Like they've just changed the prices to make it look like that. This gives customers the perception of a good deal without affecting the bottom line. And here we are. Our first listing is done and live. Now to repeat this process for all the other AI art that I've generated. Let's hope we make some sales over these next 30 days. I'm so interested to see if he actually makes money with this because a lot of people, they create these videos and they're all theoretical, but it sounds like he's actually trying it. It's day two and I'm already in trouble. My account got suspended. Mm, Is Etsy cracking down on AI art? I did some digging and apparently random suspensions happen all the time, mm. especially with new Etsy stores. So I'm not too worried. I'm just <laughs> I, I bet he was a little worried. going to pause the counter until I get my account back. If I get it back one week later so i got an email from etsy this morning and it didn't say much it didn't say why i was suspended but it did say that i am now unsuspended oh, okay. we back baby over the next so scary when you get suspended by things like that like you're working on something you're working hard on it and then suddenly they just shut you down and sometimes it's because you didn't even know like what you were doing wrong but if you've been doing internet marketing for any amount of time, you probably have been banned from something uh, one of these times for, for doing something, maybe a little bit black hat, who knows. It's two weeks, I worked on generating AI art prints and created 36 listings. It was looking good on my storefront. Now, there are two main ways to have your listing seen on Etsy. The first is through search. Showing up isn't guaranteed though, which brings us to the second way, Etsy ads. You can pay to show up. I think my listings are good enough to get organic search traffic, so I don't think I'll need ads. Or so I thought. It's day 15 and let me break it to you. Things aren't going well. Hmm. My listings. See, this is what I think happens to a lot of people. They do, they put up listings on places like Etsy and they think that traffic is magically going to come to them and it just doesn't. They are barely getting any views or visits. And because of that, I've made no sales either. It's strange because my art, photos, titles, tags, they're all pretty good. Even my prices are cheaper than other listings. My guess is that my listings aren't niche enough. For example, I have a listing under mid-century modern wall art. And if I search that keyword up, I can see over 60,000 oh, wow. results. A lot of yeah, my listing will never show up here. I think I need to generate AI art that targets smaller niches and use keywords that have less than 10,000 search results. Keywords like the names of specific locations or animals or aliens. Hope I like how he's not giving up though. This is good. Hopefully this will make my listing stand out. Holy, what is going on? My listings are blowing up. Well, that, look at that. That's huge. That's, that's a huge difference there. No sales, but he's getting visits. Most of these visits are from the direct and other traffic channels. That doesn't make sense. No. I'm not sharing my Etsy shop anywhere. I'm reading on Google that visits from that channel are most likely bots. Uh. That is crazy. Th that means only six real people have <laughs> visited my listing so far. Six real people over the last 18 days. What? Are you kidding me? I don't even know if I'll be able to even sell one print by day 30. I like how he's showing this though, because a lot of times in like these videos, they'll be like, oh, and I started making money quickly. Like that's not how this all goes. There's lots of struggles that people go through and let's see if he quits. I am honestly worried now. By day 26, I created 24 more listings for a total of 60, yet I still had no mm. sales. I was feeling stressed and getting desperate. With five days left in the challenge, I had no choice but to make a last ditch attempt to make sales that I had been avoiding since the start of the challenge. What are you gonna do? Ads? I'm gonna run Etsy ads. Dun, dun, dun. I know a lot of people run away from ads, but we'll see, let's see what happens. I was really hoping to keep everything organic, but I don't think I'll have a chance to make a sale otherwise. I'm going to spend $1 a day on ads and okay. I don't know if it's gonna do That's anything. Reasonable. At this point, it can't get any worse. I'll see you on day 30. It's the end of the challenge and okay. so what do you guys think? Did you think he made any sales? Let's see. What a roller coaster it was. So 
Did I end this challenge with a sale? I did. Etsy ads actually did something. After running it- Why is he blanking it out? For five days, it netted me 1,700. Oh, okay, he's gonna share. 165 views, 16 clicks, and one sale. Oh, we sold one AI art print of a purple peacock. That's you cool. can't get any more niche than that. I wonder how much he spent on ads though. Oh my God. We just got an order. Do you see that? Let's add that to the total right now. With two AIR prints sold, one in the five by inch size and one in the 16 by 20 oh, inch cool. size, I earned a total revenue of $45.98. How much For spend? my expenses, printing costs $17.50, okay. shipping costs $9.98, and Etsy ads cost $3.56. Nothing. Etsy also charged me $2.99 in transaction fees, mm. $1.99 in processing fees, $2.25 in tax on Keep seller on fees, and 20 cents per listing in listing fees. I had 60 listings so that cost me $12. In total, my net income for this challenge is negative $4 and 29. <laughs> but still, he I'm actually not like that's okay. Like I now he's learned how to do it and I I think he could definitely make money with this. Sense. Yep. I lost money, but I wouldn't immediately call this an outright yeah, flop. My I listings were only up for 30 days, some even less, and I only ran ads for five days. With a bit more time, I probably would be able to sell one more art print and be in the green. And actually, if I count the free 40 Etsy listings that you can get by using mm -hmm. my link in the description below, I would have saved $8 and made a profit of $4.29. Mm -hmm. Regardless, my takeaway from this challenge is that selling AI art prints on Etsy is definitely not easy. So what do you guys think of this? I thought that was a pretty cool challenge, and especially the fact that he shared all that, he shared all his numbers, uh, he even shared the fact that he didn't make any money from it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Also, please like this video. It really helps out my YouTube channel, and I appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks.